Hello students. Today we are going to read a poem named of a questionable conviction which is being written by Jayant Mahapatra. And as you know Jayant Mahapatra is a prolific writer from India. And he has written a number of poems in order to focus the poet's view on each and every situation. Okay. So here let us read what is being written. So Jayant Mahapatra questionable conviction. What do you mean by conviction? Conviction means a strong belief. Questionable conviction means what? Means a strong belief to which you can put a question mark. Okay. You can ask question on that strong belief. Either the belief is true or not. Sometimes it is seen <coughs> that what are the poets doing? They are writing something and by their writing they are <coughs> inspiring the readers to believe that what are they speaking is the correct one. Means they are not forcing. They are inspiring in such a way that the reader will assume that is what the poet, what the writer is speaking is 100% correct and they are to some extent wrong. So in the same case, it is also mentioned. The same thing is mentioned in this poem. So let us see what is written. This is a man who talks of pain. So here, what is pain? Pain here, it is referring to poverty. Okay. And in this poem, there is a man. And the man is talking of pain as if this pain is belonging to him only. And what type of pain is there? The pain is due to poverty, due to lack of money. Scarcity of money is there. The man is suffering incredibly and his it belongs to him alone. And he is speaking in such a way as if the pain is belonging to him only. Means he is having the sole authority of the pain. No one else is suffering in this world. He is the only person who is suffering. Maybe, so here, possibility is being mentioned. Maybe he has invented it himself. And there is the possibility, there is the chance that this pain might have been created by himself. Who is speaking, the poet is speaking. That it might be possible that the pain is belonging to him only according to that person. But chances are there that he has created it by himself. No one has created it. The example is how. The question is how. Okay. So, look. When the person selected the profession of a poet, no one did force him. So, he did select it by himself. So, here, the poets are not getting regular salary from the government. This is their own income. So, if the person is unable to do something pretty, to do something different from others, how will he get money? Definitely not. No one, the neighbors are not going to pay him for nothing. So, the same thing is being mentioned there. When he did select this profession by himself, it means he has created the pain by himself. And made a virtue of it. But he has accepted the pain willingly. And he has made a virtue. Made something good out of the pain. It means he has done something pretty. He has done something different. Maybe he is a poet. So in the last line it is mentioned. Means in the last line it is mentioned. Maybe there is the chance that the person is a poet. That's why he has created. The, he has invented the pain by himself. And he is also willingly accepting the pain. And apart from this, it is also possible that the person is a poet. That's why he is suffering. Okay. So, did you understand it? Then, next stanza, what is being written here? For hours he waits in the night. Tell me one thing. Who is waiting? The man who is talking of pain is waiting for hours. He is not waiting for one or two minutes. But he is waiting for long hours. And the reason is that he is trying to find out something, something which is divine, something which can't be found by someone else. So the person is trying to find out something and that's why he is waiting not only during the daytime but night. And why night is being mentioned? Because normally according to Wordsworth, poetry is the overflow of powerful feelings, feelings that can be collected in tranquility. Tranquility means what? Calmness. If the surrounding is not calm and quiet, then definitely we can't do something poetic. We can't do something different. So, calm and quiet atmosphere is also highly essential. In the same case, it is also mentioned that the man is waiting during the night time in order to get something. Toward another night, he waits. But then, what is mentioned? He is not only waiting for a single night. For another night also he is waiting. There is no end of his waiting. His waiting is endless. 
All night he is waiting, day after day, night after night he is waiting only. For that is his excuse to leave. And what is mentioned? This is his excuse to leave. He is leaving for the sake of waiting. What does it mean? Means here, the man is waiting to get some, something noble, to get something sublime, to get something different from others. And he is not only waiting the daytime, he is not only waiting for a single night, but he is waiting for a number of nights. And for that is his excuse to leave. And whenever he is being put a question that what are you doing? He is speaking, I am waiting for some thought, I am waiting for some feeling. The empty window in his lonely world belongs to him. Here, two meanings can be there. The house is completely empty. Okay. And in one case it is mentioned the empty window. Means window is empty. No screen, no curtains are there. It also symbolizes his poverty in his lonely world belongs to him. Means everything is empty window. And his lonely world, both these things are belonging to him. Apart from this, it is also referring to the window of his heart. Okay. The window of his heart is open, is clear. The root is open, but something else has happened. And what is that? That is the empty window in his lonely world belongs to him. So, the empty window is belonging to him, means his heart is belonging to him. And the gateway to his heart is also belonging to him. But something has mentioned. And what is that? Even when everything is neat and clean, everything is clear, but still he is not able to do something different because that is his excuse to leave. So in this way it is quite clear that he is only waiting without any creativity. Okay? So, in the last class I have told you that the empty window in his lonely world. Empty window means in one case it is also referring to his poverty. The window was empty without any cottage. But in the meantime, it is also referring to his heart, the window of his heart. It is empty. No feelings are there. No, nothing is there. No thoughts are there. He is unable to do something creative. The next word is mentioned. For months together, the window has been deceiving him. Deceiving means for cheating. So it is mentioned, he is waiting not only for a single night or for a single week, but he was waiting for a long period of time. He was waiting for months. But the window is deceiving him. The window is cheating him. It means his own heart cheats him. That's why he is unable to do anything creative. Then what is mentioned? Light comes in. Then goes on its own light. Here light in one case it is referring to the light. The physical light comes in. Means through the window. The light is coming into the house. It is also reflecting on the world. Then goes on its own. And it is also going away. In another case, it is also reflected that through the window, through the window of his heart, light means feelings are coming. Feelings are staying there for some time. But it also goes on its own. The feeling comes and the feeling also goes. The feeling is coming and going. It is a continuous one. But he has been trying. Means the work has started in the past and till now he is only doing. But there is no result. There is no success. But the person... The man is trying to polish the light on his heart. How can we polish the light if it is referring to the normal bulb light? Practically it is not possible. So definitely it is referring to the feelings that is being reflected on his heart. The feeling which is coming to his heart. And the man is trying to polish the feeling of his heart but he is unable to do it. They all say he was a poet. Now look at this line. It is mentioned they all. They mean people. Everyone is speaking. Now that he was a poet. It means here after present tense is being mentioned. Here it is past tense. It means the man has died. Okay. He became a past tense. He was a poet. He is not a poet. He was a poet. His eyes saw the pain in the mirror. As you know mirror is always truthful. It shows what is the reality. Likewise the pain of the person is being reflected through his eyes. H. Eyes are the most expressive part of our body. That's why the pain is also being reflected in his eyes. And he could see it. He can realize it by looking himself in the mirror. And people also then having the idea that yes, the man is in pain. That occupied him. And the pain has occupied him. The pain has captured him completely. The didn't curse him. They mean so people. 
the dean girls in that but people are not feeling and we are feeling why what is the reason the nights are sleepless the man was not means here in the present society it is mentioned that when the poet is alive no one appreciates him <coughs> no one speaks that he is a poet but after the death of the person people used to speak ha huh, he was a great poet etc 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 okay likewise people are giving name and fame to the person after the death of the man but not as long as he is alive so the same thing is being mentioned that the pain is occupied him and the pain is being reflected in the mirror and the dean girls in that and people are not feeling envy of him not feeling jealous of him such a harmless pastime never ruin anybody sleep because his pastime is harmless even when he was in pain but still he was not speaking it out to the public that as he is in pain he is in pain he was not making a market of his pain he was not selling his pain even when he was pain he was suffering alone there is no one to take care of his pain that's why his pastime is harmless that's why no one's life is being disturbed by his pain and finally it is being mentioned that in this materialistic world people are taking advantage when the people when the man is alive they were not recognizing him but after death he is being recognized usually by the public okay so overall what is the summary the questionable conviction means a strong belief which is being given by the poet and either we can trust it or not it is up to us but here it is mentioned that the poet is focusing on a person and the person is speaking that he is in pain and it might be possible that the person has created the pain by himself and apart from this why he is in pain he might be a poet possibility is there and then it is mentioned that he is a poet what is the greatest tragedy of a poet's life when he is unable to do something creative when he is unable to write down a poem when the person is unable to write down a novel that is the greatest tragedy of a writer's life likewise the man was also feeling restless he was in financial trouble he was confined within his own thinking within his own mentality feelings are coming to him but feelings are going on its own way he is unable to police the light of his heart he is unable to police the feelings of his heart that's why he is unable to do something creative he is unable to do recognition in the society people they means people don't recognize him as a poet he was unknown to everyone that was his greatest misery and finally the person also died and it is mentioned the eyes are reflected means the pain is reflected in the mirror and everything is crystal clear the pain is also reflected in the mirror but at the same time people are not feeling envy because the man is not a so the man is not a famous one he died on my name but after his death people used to call him that he is a poet he was a such a renowned person etc etc okay this is the theme of the poem okay thank you have a nice time